Okay, so um, can you tell me um, how would you uh, create your sound? Or uh, what um, creates a nice genty tone yeah. in your opinion? <laughs> oh, well, we're going to use the, the forbidden word. Yeah. The word that should not be mentioned. Yeah, okay, well, the exactly. good thing is that um, you have an Axe FX here. Yeah. This, or, is, this is what I use. Yeah. This is what I use. Okay. This is not mine. Mm -hmm. So I kind of started working on this just to get it set up for you guys. But mm -hmm. but um, here, let's, let's take a look. So like right off the bat, um, I really like the um, the PV5150 block letter. It's a 6160 block. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's going to be a little bit noisy for a little bit, so mm -hmm. do that. Uh, but right off the bat, <coughs> it's way too loud. First problem. Mm -hmm. We'll fix this. We'll get this down. <coughs> So do you like to use lots of distortion? Yeah, I mean, I try to find that sweet spot where between where you're getting the saturation. If you use too little, mm -hmm. it doesn't kind of crunch right. Yeah. But the other trick that I do, which I'm going to set up right now, is I like to put a drive block in front of it, like a that overdrive pedal. Mm -hmm. So here we have, um, it's got kind of a little bit of noise, but... Bring that down, bring that a little bit. And not to get uh, too mushy. It's also the tricks, you know, to find. This is what the overdrive does. Without it, with it. Kinda, what it does is it sort of reduces the amount of low end that's hitting the amp. Mm -hmm. uh, lets it focus on the mids, and that hits the front end. Yeah. That makes it sound quite nice in my opinion. Yeah, it's a little bit meaner. Also. Right, absolutely. Yeah. And in a way you can actually use less gain to get an aggressive yeah. sound. But here's the interesting thing. If I turn the, the gain all the way down, oh, you know, it's got a noise gain on this as well, because I guess with all the lights and everything, this room is just a little bit noisy. This noise got to turn the attack and the release to be as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I'll get rid of the noise. Turn the gain way down. That'd be sort of the low end of how much gain yeah. I'd use. Yeah. But if I wanted to saturate, then you bring the gain up and it's like really purry quality yeah. to it. So cool. it really just depends. When we're when we're uh, recording in the mm -hmm. studio, we're playing around with that gain a lot, you yeah. know? Yeah. Uh, just to whatever is sort of right for the riff. Yeah. That makes exactly. sense. Whatever makes it sound best. Good. Uh, there's no general rule, but I do try to use as little as possible, but mm -hmm. lately I've been kind of using more and more. Yeah. Just having fun with it, you know? Yeah, yeah. So you are touring with this also? Yep, yep. This yeah. is, okay. this is, and actually this is a strangely accurate setup. I mean, like, we're not using the same equipment, but the same sort of setup where um, what I imagine the cameras are hearing is the direct feed, because mm -hmm. as you see, we don't really have this mic'd up. Yeah. But um, we have the second output going to a power amp yeah. and then to a cab, uh -huh. which is just for the stage sound. Yeah. We used to go just direct, which was great. Very clean, mm, yeah. no added stage noise. Yeah, exactly. Then anyone who was on stage uh, or like side stage or anyone in the front rows in certain venues the PAs are kind of in front of the crowd rather than behind them they don't have speakers for that front row yeah and anyone who was there was like, I can't hear the guitars all I hear is drums really you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. so we started putting cabs on stage and just being more aware of that uh, yeah. create more stage sounds so that people who are up front can also get mm. a good experience I, yeah. I feel like in some ways they should get a special experience mm. and not in a bad way because they yeah. fought their way to the front you know yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, so we wanted so really we have the cabs on stage just for them you know yeah. uh, we're That's on nice. in-ears so I'd, I barely ever hear oh, it myself yeah, right, um, yeah. so it really is just for the the people in the front yeah that's nice yeah. but uh, it's a very very similar setup to this mm. we have it the same yeah. They even have that kind of the same like I always have that at noon because that's what goes to front of house uh -huh. and this is your cab volume yeah which you know okay. I play around with it starts here and then by the end of the set 
Gets louder. Yeah. Shh, don't tell. Don't tell my front of house guy mm -hmm. that. Um, <laughs> I hear you. Um, yeah. How about the? Um, uh, somebody was asking me about about the forbidden word. The gent. Thing? Gent. Tone. Yeah. Yeah. Have you turned up? Well, I mean, All like, day, uh, gent, gent. what you see. So, so one of the things is like you. You kind of. I mean, it's partially technique. <laughs> That drive. That's without it. Now it's already like kind of that quality, but mm -hmm. you put the drive. And then I guess having the, uh, like a, a noise gate that's a little bit tighter. Yeah, I guess that's the keyword here. Mm -hmm. stuff right yeah it's oh. super cool so it's uh you said the noise you just, gate pretty well you know high. so what we have we actually have a computer controlling our patches here mm -hmm. and we have a few different settings for our rhythm tone so one where the noise gets set a little bit tighter yeah and then one where it's looser because with the tighter oh. setting it kind of eats into like any faster playing or leads you know <laughs> Right now yeah. it's pretty it's pretty good for that so not quite as tight there oh, right. so that's where we'll like you know have have the computer doing our switching for yeah, us nice. actually does all our switching so we can just stand wherever yeah you can focus on the playing mm -hmm. cool. and completely wireless we have wireless in ears wireless yeah. packs so you just stand anywhere all the Perfect. switching happens um, from the computer and we have our click tracks that everyone oh, plays yeah, through yeah. so you don't have to love this uh, modern technology. It's yeah, I mean, like that's, you know, like 10 years ago, I don't think yeah. that we would have, I mean, you might have been able to do it, but you wouldn't have been able to afford it. So yeah, now, now exactly. it's like pretty affordable. So it's, yeah. it's nice. nice. So it's basically pretty uh, simple thing you do with this amount. Yeah, I mean, when, you, when you think about it, it's, it's great because it's simple. Uh, this has been a very reliable unit, but when we do mm. fly gigs, you know, like we just have to take this and we have all our sounds there. Mm. Even some gigs, if we have to just go direct, well, it's still better than nothing. Yeah. You know, just yeah. take this, right? Mm -hmm. um, but, it, you know, if you consider the alternative, which is like renting backline or whatever for the amps, bring your pedal board, bring it, you, know, you have to bring a lot more stuff. Yeah, cool. Uh, and stuff that could potentially go wrong so mm -hmm. so this has worked out pretty well for us yeah. um, and you know that's what we're using right now yeah. just because it's it's kind of simple yeah excellent yeah it looks complicated it but, does but, <laughs> a little bit and it way. is but, mm -hmm. but but once you get it dialed in it's very simple yeah definitely. nice well hey I'm using this here so <laughs> yeah that's even simpler that's that's way better yeah <laughs> exactly um, I noticed that you have also your uh, new signature uh, distortion pedal yeah, well, uh, it's an overdrive. It's actually what this... Yeah. So it's very interesting. I think a lot of people didn't realize that mm -hmm. a large part of our sound is that drive. So the 5150, for example, is a very aggressive amp to begin with. Yeah. You know? um, so people would be like, well, that should get me the sound I want. But it's kind of designed... Like, what I realized is it's like all these amps were designed for higher tunings, mm -hmm. uh, generally thinner strings. Yeah. So... The, the frequencies that they're getting fed are just yeah. way less low end. And this is just, just feeding the frequencies it's not really supposed to be getting. Mm -hmm. So we created a drive pedal that does what this does. It's on, you know. Yep. Yeah. Very notable difference there. It and you can hear how it's kind of like flubby without it. Yeah. And that is partially the tuning and the, the gauges, but you know these are the tunings that mm -hmm. modern metal guys like, mm -hmm. is the lower stuff. So yeah, it's yeah. kind of figuring our way around it. But with, uh, with my pedal, you can sort of adjust how much low end hits oh. the, the front end of the amp. You know, that's a, it's got this attack knob that's like variable. Oh, yeah. And that depending on the guitar you're using. So if you were using that, yeah. you'd probably use a lot less. You'd be able to let more, more of the low end in. And you can yeah. actually let more at low end in than a traditional tube screamer, so it yeah. can even work in the other direction. Cool. Conversely, if we're doing like the seven string stuff and mm. we're using the thicker string or the eight string stuff, then yeah. we're like cranking that yeah. because it'll make that low end sound really tight nice. and it gives you that genty sound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I so, need to get it. Uh, and it's got a, guilt, a gate built into it so yeah. it doesn't add any noise. As you hear, like how all the noise that the drive adds here, so it's like yeah. we're just trying to 
approach it from a practical standpoint because mm. I was like, there's not really a pedal yeah, that does that. So no, might, as well, might as well make one for us, you know? Yeah, cool. And also some interesting facts came up to me that you have also your uh, signature PV. Yeah, um, well, yeah, like that's a collaboration that's, that's, with them. Uh, it's, yeah. uh, I love amps. I love amps to death. Yeah. Um, and uh, they make one of my favorite amps of all time. Well, mm -hmm. The model I'm using on here is the, the 5150 block letter. Mm -hmm. um, and that was kind of the starting point for that amp. But that amp, okay. if you know it, if anyone knows that amp, doesn't have a clean channel and mm -hmm. is pretty dated. Yeah. You know, so, mm -hmm. and, and like I, I wanted to kind of tweak it, make it cleaner, yeah. and give it a, a ton of new features. So it has like yeah. built in noise gate, built in drive, mm -hmm. MIDI, two effects loops that are really clean, and yeah. it has an incredible clean channel on it. Oh, so that's cool. even the, the kind of, you know, it's like, it's kind of like this guitar where it's like, you know, you say, well, is that metal thing? It's like it can do metal mm -hmm. really, really well. Mm -hmm. But if you were just to use a clean channel on that, you'd be very happy. Nice. Uh, and I think uh, what they were saying is they're, they're, the PV was telling me that they're getting some interesting requests from like country guys yeah. who just like the clean channel. Oh, yeah. They're not really too concerned with the heavier stuff yeah, on it. Exactly. But, the, but they were just so happy with the clean channel that they're like, all right, wow. I want this. You know, and the features that it has. So it's like, I'm glad. I, I'd like it to be. It was a collaboration that we did to just try to, you know, it's like if you ever get the opportunity to collaborate with someone on an amp, you take mm -hmm. that opportunity. So yeah. I was like, sure, yeah. Yeah. It's good. So it's a tube amp? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. 6L6 yeah. power section, which cool. is kind of what I feel is right for that kind of preamp. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be something quite di different from from this one. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, you know, what, what, my front of house guy's gonna hate is the fact that I love the way that it sounds. Yeah. So we've been using them as the power amp live in the US. Oh. But every now and then I was plugging in through the front and I was just like, okay, this sounds really good. Yeah, nice. So I, I, part of me wants to just get a nice big pedal board set up going. Basically, now that I have the entire world in this box, mm -hmm. I wanna make my life really complicated and difficult for like a 10% increase in tone. Yeah. But like that 10% is totally worth it to me because yeah. I'm a musician and I'm crazy, you know? That's what we do. We yeah, torture, that's the point. We torture ourselves and everyone, yeah. all of our friends. So, yeah. you know, um, and the other guys in the band like it too. So there's this idea that like, maybe we will switch the pedal rigs. And something about mm -hmm. that will be nice is like, I think there's a way to where we can still have the computer do the switching. Mm -hmm. But we'll sort of have our override function if we want to jam or yeah. just get playful, which we can't yes. really do right now. Mm -hmm. And it'll be nice to have like sort of, a, you know, a tangible pedal board in front of you with pedals that you can mess yeah. with. So, yeah. uh, and the amp plays very nicely with that. So yeah, I'm 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 excited for that. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but okay. I'm I'm fighting the good fight on that one. Good. So mm -hmm. will it be uh, on on stores also? For oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, they're just. Uh, I did a few last minute revisions, which pushed okay. everything back. I've been working on that amp for three years. If people oh. have to wait a few extra months, it's yeah. worth it, you know? It's like, get it right, so. Uh, um, it's gonna I think, be this year. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think the, the first units for the US should be shipping June, July. Hopefully. Oh, nice. Hopefully. Yeah. I don't know when this video comes out, but hopefully, yeah. Hopefully you could quote me on that. Uh, yeah. and, then, and then the idea is like, if not then, then shortly after for the rest of the world. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Excellent.